Hi traders, uh, here is Nerad speaking and welcome to our FXDD webinar today, Advanced Forex Scalping. So uh, last week we had a, a nice uh, intro to Forex Scalping and I hope that you enjoyed it. it that was uh, one of my favorite methods to trade and I have personally created it. So I hope that you enjoyed uh, this uh, scalping tutorial and system that I presented you with. Now today we will be talking about advanced techniques of forex scalping, also suitable for both, uh, well, I can say intermediate and uh, more advanced traders. But also if you're a beginner trader, you might uh, want to give it a try because uh, the, the rules are pretty much simple. And I think that you uh, can add these two uh, systems that I will uh, show you today to your trading arsenal. So. Before I start, as always, quick disclaimer explaining that foreign exchange trading carries a high level of risk and it's not suitable for all investors. Uh, have in mind that leverage creates additional risk and loss, loss exposure. Please educate yourself on the risks associated with foreign exchange trading and seek advice from an independent financial tax advisor if you have any questions. Everything you see here is my personal opinion only. Uh, you can always sign up uh, on these uh, web addresses. Okay, these are addresses uh, for uh, our educational and uh, live trading videos. Uh, I always conduct uh, two live trading videos and one educational video each week. And uh, uh, feel free to join. See me uh, in live trading, live action, live account. Everything can be checked up, including my FX book statistics. TF scalping, scalping hours, MPF naked scalping, and ATR scalping. So these are actually uh, main points of today's webinar. And I'm going to teach you how to uh, scalp. If you already have some scalping system, this can definitely uh, help you out. Uh, to uh, You can add these tools to your system and you can try, but first try on demo account, then if you are, uh, of course, successful, uh, go to live account. Always treat your demo account as if it were for a live account, okay? And always deposit the same amount of money on your demo account as you will deposit on a live account. Quick facts about scalping. Uh, let me just remind you uh, of these uh, important facts. Scalping is the quickest way of trading. It requires momentum and volatility. It uses small stops and it is done on lower time frames, M1, M5, and M15. Targets are always lowered accordingly. Breakouts are also one of scalping strategies, and you can uh, try to do breakout trading even if you are not sure uh, what uh, intraday trading is or what swing trading is. So if you're totally novice trader, breakout trading is good. You can scalp with it, and I will show you how you can also scalp with the ATR indicator. It will require, of course, a little bit of practice, but then again, uh, without a practice, there is no real success. So uh, I think that you might be interested in this. This is very unique, guys. I don't think that you will find uh, these things anywhere on the internet. Maybe, of course, you will, because I didn't invent uh, the first technique, naked scalping, but the second one, such as ATR scalping, that is also my proprietary method. Okay, best sessions uh, for uh, scalping are London and uh, London New York cross session. Why? Because the volatility uh, and uh, uh, definitely is the best during the, those times. Uh, good scalping setups are usually found 10 minutes prior and 10 minutes after TOTH. It's top of the hour. Uh, the first three session of each, uh, the first three hours of each session are usually most suitable. And uh, when you do one minute scalping, have in mind that uh, it's a very very volatile uh, time frame usually and you need to be very focused so in my opinion uh, i would uh, stick to five minutes scalping of course and uh, definitely uh, do it uh, when major sessions are open such as london and london new york cross session uh, now we will start with the mtf scalping mtf stands for multiple time frame so with multiple time frame you're actually aligning the trend aligning momentum, aligning targets, stops, and new cherry pick trades. Uh, one of my favorite methods to trade is always has always been the MTF. Uh, the MTF is actually uh, my intraday trading method, but I also prefer to, if I scalp, I also use 
my own scalping methods. One of them is the MTF scalping. You can align everything because you are picking back momentum and trend from higher time frames, and you actually uh, just move it from higher time frames into lower time frames. So the biggest advantage of uh, the uh, multiple time frame scalping is actually higher time frame trend piggyback. So uh, piggyback in English means that you are uh, actively uh, uh, like it's like that you are uh, uh, you have someone on your on your back, okay, and you uh, move with that person. That is called piggyback. So when you piggyback momentum, you're actually riding momentum from higher time frames, and it's very very good because when you're uh, riding a higher time frame momentum uh, it means that uh, you will use retracement all over time frames to actually go with a trend i believe you guys uh, as i say you can always check our stats on my facebook uh, you can you can see me live trading you can you can uh, see our spreadsheet of live trades that we do in front of uh, our trading group so uh, this is one of the biggest things in, 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 in trading it's called the MTF so when you trade uh, especially when you trade lower time frames lower than four hours you need to piggyback momentum from higher time frames that is why uh, many systems that are not uh, actually following this are not successful they they're sticking only to let's say five minute 15 minute trading but five minute 15 minute trading 30 minute trading it's actually it's in my opinion it's futile if you trade only a single lower time frame because the moves moves on those lower time frames are full of noise and uh, you can become easily confused there are no indicators uh, except if you use a great money management you can make lower time frame trading uh, into into nice profits right but only if you use very good money management uh, for me i use simple things guys and i like to keep it simple so uh, I always pay attention to ATR, what is the range, uh, uh, how we can uh, exit the trade, because exiting the trade is also one of the crucial aspects of uh, trading. 90% uh, of the traders, in my opinion, know, at least traders who, who have experience in forex trading, know how to enter, when to enter the market. But they don't know when to exit the market. That's the problem. Think about it. Okay. Uh, so regarding MTF scalping rules, we use time frame. It's MTF time frame. We drill down from one hour to 30 minutes, 15 minutes, and five minutes. Candles should be aligned. And first thing you need to know is to mark the quadrants. Rules for buy trades: one candle should close bullish, 30 minute candle should close bullish, 15 minute candle should close bullish, and the last five minute candle of one hour should be bullish. Uh, also, guys, if you miss the top of the hour then you can easily watch these candles also during that hour and they need to be aligned that is how you scalp this also uh, for sell trades one candle the one hour candle is bearish 30 minute candle bearish 15 minute candle bearish five minute candle bearish i will also use these uh eight yard pivots uh, uh i will explain later because this part is not that crucial as you won't be using only ATR pivots, you will be using naked trading here. But for uh, ATR scalping, I will uh, show you uh, how you can use ATR for scalping. Now, let's say we want to see bullish candles. Okay, let's use this example. It's in the past, but it's good because the price moved up. So uh, this candle was bullish. I'm just giving you an example. So one, uh, this candle was bullish, 30 minute candle bullish, 15 minute candle should be bullish okay and the close of five minute candle should also be bullish so let's say that the candle close here okay and you you watch this candle you you see that every every time frame is bullish when price breaks the candle by two pip plus the spread you enter the market that is why it's important to have low spreads i just use gbpcvc you will you mostly be using uh, low spread pairs such as euro dollar pound dollar dollar yen uh, okay pound yen also you can try to use uh, yeah up to 2.5 to 3 uh, pips is okay so two pips plus the spread you enter a trade okay stops are placed below one hour candle so if this is the candle one hour stops are placed uh, 
uh, three pips plus the spread below one uh, hour candle or the last prominent swing low. Obviously, this was the last prominent swing low here, and you place your stop here. Uh, uh, have in mind that scalping is not ideal for risk to reward, but you will have you need to have more wins than losses in order to compensate for that. Uh, for that reason, guys, uh, I always say you can uh, uh, protect your trades. I will show you how. So let's say this was your entry. This is your stop loss. Now, uh, if you want to uh, go with ATR, simply follow the ATR target. So you enter from this spot, your next ATR pivot is target. Next ATR pivot is target and so on. But what can you also do is, you can just move your stop loss to uh, positive territory. So we don't have the ATR that shows historical because this was this happened on 23rd of January. But let's just, for example, guys, let's say that the first pivot point, ATR pivot was here, second pivot was there, there, and so on and so on, just for an example. Okay, this is your stop loss. You enter here, okay, we will remove this line. So you entered at this spot. If the price breaks, it hits, let's say it hit the first ATR pivot, okay. So it's 28 pips. Are you happy with 28 pips? I would be because this is scalping. Uh, let's say you see that the price could go still to the upside. It moved up, uh, five pips above this ATR pivot. Just move your stop loss here, three pips below the ATR pivot point. Okay, price went up, hit, this is where you would be stopped out for some 30 pips. But let's say the price didn't hit this. It proceeded to next pivot, uh, ATR pivot. You just move, guys, your stop loss here, and so on and so on. So this is like you are actually escal uh, escalating the pips. You are moving stop loss as the price breaks pivot points. Uh, for this example, just for this example, you enter here, let's say. Let me quickly okay so let's say that you enter here okay this was your entry here let's see okay uh, one hour yeah okay this is not good but let's say this was okay maybe one hour 30 minute okay i will do it again 30 minute 15 minute Okay, uh, you always need, this is just an example, guys, but always need to align this. Okay, see this one. Okay, let's see, 30 minute, one hour, good, five minute. Everything is aligned. So your entry is here. Usually your entries will be found on the, on the, at the top of the hour. So the last five minute can closes. Every uh, single time frame uh, till uh, uh, from five minute till one hour is bullish. You enter a trade usually at the top of the hour so next pivot is here guys your stop loss is here okay your entry is here bang it, it it went here so if this if the price had shooted above this pivot point you just need to move your stop loss here so i think yes it's close protecting the profits guys uh protecting profits is crucial because 70 percent of the time market is ranging 30 percent of the time markets are in trend let's say on the average it doesn't matter the percentage i mean well uh, i think it's like 70 percent but even though if i'm wrong about the percentage markets are ranging more than trending so that is why protecting your profits is crucial guys i always protect my profits when i trade during the day because intraday trading is not swing trading I always do it for the resistance each time the ATR indicator uh, is on your chart and each time the price opens up at zero zero clock okay uh, after midnight it will print out targets for price price projections it's a very flexible tools the tool because you can go with trend trading targets with uh, trend targeting and reversal targeting because you can also do reversal trades it's great tool for support and resistance confluence. It, it is one of rare indicators that takes volatility into account with a low, mar with a low margin of error. So it's very precise.
and the indicator is automated. It will print out pivot points. It co it's called ATR pivot points and uh, price projections of high and low each time. This is just an example, and this is how we will do ATR scalping. But have in mind, this is the ATR indicator in action. I will show you that on a live chart, guys, okay? And I will show you how to scalp with this indicator. So let's move back onto our chart here. We will use other pairs, and we will use, let's say, Euro dollar. You need to go to five minute time frame again. Now, how you scalp with this uh, quickly? Uh, this ATR projection and this ATR projection are projection high and projection low. Usually, guys, you will see it here. Let's say when price has not reached the ATR projection, the dotted lines will be always at the top and at the bottom. But when price shoots up or shoots below these dotted lines, you will see it here, then the pivot points will move above and below the dotted lines. It means that the price has overshot the range. See here, today's ATR uh, is 83, but uh, for scalping, we use seven days. For uh, last seven days was 48. So 83 is higher than 48. That is why you see these pivot points above projections. But here, the ATR is still has not been reached. 38 versus 61. If 61 is broken you will see these pivot points above and below price projections and you can easily identify see this how how the euro dollar actually overshot its average true range of seven days so how you actually trade it you need to go to insert indicators trend bollinger bands 20 and 2 standard deviations now guys on five minute time frame Okay, so now pay attention. You need to see, uh, you need to clearly see a trend line. Okay, uh, starting from this spot, trend line needs to always have at least two touches. You see here, this was a trend line and this was the only trend line because here you only see trend lines that are not like this and you cannot trade with this. This is counter trend trading method. So guys, when price, gets to its extremes you need to wait for the price to get its, its extremes okay place trend lines and uh place potential reversal trades so this is where the price went bullish you can remove this you know that the price went bullish it broke the trend line so the trend is upside it will go up but once it starts going down you need to have another trend line placed at the break so here this is how i would do it so this is the trend line if it breaks below this trend line okay price will probably go to retest high and the mid pivot point so your first target is here your next target is there similar guys for buying trades if you want to go long your first target will be here next target will be there so this is done solely on pairs that already are extremely close to atr projections or they have broken you can do whatever pairs you want, but I always stick to low spread pairs. As I say, maximum three pips. He, see here, guys. You see the price overshot this. And this is when it, well, it's not a clear trend line, but you see the price broke this mini trend line here and retested this zone. So again, same thing happened here. Price broke through this trend line. It went bullish. So you wait when price will get to ATR. Here it started, okay, and see that and see what happened. Now, if you are not sure how to plot these trend lines, that is why we have Bollinger Bands. Instead of plotting these trend lines, guys, because I know that that is why I said for some traders this could be a little bit harder. You need to wait for outside inside close of the Bollinger Band on five minute close and then place a trade. So here, this was outside, 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 and inside close. See, see this, outside, inside. So from this spot, guys, wait for a bearish candle to form. This is your entry. Outside, inside, inside with a bearish candle, and you take your trade here. It's much easier, probably, than to plot trend lines. Similar for long trades, guys. The price is going down, 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 down. You want to make a counter trend trade. Let's just for an example, say that this was the ATR low projection. 
outside, inside close, your entry is here and just go with counter to trend. That is, it's it's very nice to uh, scalp these guys because on five minute uh, time frame, especially when price hits ATR projection high and low, uh, your, uh, your counter trade should be successful because it takes a bit more of retracement, usually on 15 minute to actually get in a trend back to trend so this is a good example let's see maybe one more example we don't have anything here euro dollar yeah i would say this would have been an entry here okay yeah this here this would have been an entry so still there is a chance for the price to drop uh stops same thing are placed above one hour candle so if this was one hour candle where you made a trade stops are placed three pips plus the spread above the candle. So the candle high is 79, so 72 pip, uh, 70, 84. This is, yeah, two pip spread, three pips plus two pip spread here. Okay, so that is your stop loss. This could have been your entry. Okay, guys, and if this is your entry, your target is here. Or as I said in the previous example, you can move your stop loss once the price breaks this pivot point, you just move it here and wait to see if the price will drop down. So it's pretty much very clear. Uh, it's called also protecting the profits. If you have any questions, guys, feel free to ask. Uh, I think for uh, more experienced traders, trend line could be uh, maybe uh, easier, but for novice traders, outside, inside close is easier. Generally speaking, I like Bollinger Band outside, inside close. I use it a lot in my Camarilla MACD MTF, but it's more complex. Uh, this is just for scalping, guys. Two or three trades per day, it should be enough. If anything is not clear, feel free to ask me. If everything is fine, guys, we will call it a day.